DirecTV just issued final blow to NFL with what they're giving football fans who supported them. When Americans turn on the TV to watch NFL football, the last thing they want is to be bombarded by the anti-American sentiments of oppressed millionaires whining about the injustices of our country. Over the past couple of weeks nearly empty stadiums and viewership plummeting into the double digits has spelled disaster for the NFL of things to come, as angry fans prove they can easily find other ways to spend their money and precious time. Now DirecTV has just issued another devastating blow to the NFL that has anti-American NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and all his protesting athletes freaking out this morning. Over the weekend, Players held massive protests across the NFL to defy President Trump's call for Americans to boycott them, where over 200 athletes took a knee or sat, with entire teams choosing to stay in the locker room as the national anthem played. Many Americans are disgusted and fed up at this point, and have caused ratings to plummet into the double digits as angry fans are turning off the television in droves. While many fans are burning their jerseys in an act of defiance, Many are also cancelling their DirecTV season tickets, that ran about $280 per season. The deadline for cancelling these premium packages was last Sunday. But in an unprecedented turn of events, one of the biggest premium TV providers in the nation has just made a stunning announcement, they're providing full refunds to customers who cancel their NFL Sunday ticket packages because of the protests, Conservative Tribune reported. Conservative Tribune went on, the ESPN network hardly a bastion of conservatism confirmed on Tuesday evening that DirecTV is altering its own policy which normally prevents package cancellations after a sports season has started, and will return the full amount of money for any viewer who wants to cancel their NFL bundle. Those viewership packages allow diehard sports fans to watch games that are outside their local viewing area, and run about $280 per season. DirecTV's surprising move came after President Donald Trump spoke out about professional players who kneel or make other disrespectful gestures during the national anthem. Over the weekend, one team refused to even leave the locker room or face the United States flag while the anthem played, while dozens of players acted out in other ways. Unsurprisingly to anybody but the league, red-blooded Americans were not happy. At some stadiums, fans booed the players. Others took to Twitter to say they were cancelling their Sunday ticket subscriptions, ESPN reported. These tone-deaf liberals and spoiled millionaire players want to keep ignoring their large patriotic fan base and now it is backfiring brutally. They're about to get a serious wake-up call in light of their ongoing protests, as angry fans are choosing to protest back with their wallets. Liberals normally wipe their butt with the Constitution, but now suddenly they're now constitutional scholars who are all about proclaiming their right to protest, touting their rights under the First Amendment to hold these demonstrations. But what these cupcakes are quickly realizing, is that although they do in fact have the right to act like spoiled jackasses on the football field, unfortunately, the First Amendment will not shield them from the fallout and repercussions of their actions. The NFL stands to lose billions this season if things keep going in this direction. Earlier this week, a devastating list of their corporate sponsors leaked to the public. And the list of their sponsors has been circulating like wildfire. If there's one thing we've learned from liberals, it's how to fight dirty. Whenever liberals go after conservatives, they always go directly for their sponsors and lead boycotts of products and companies. Well now it's time for we the people to take the exact same approach towards our favorite sport being hijacked by these nasty anti-American leftists, and put a stop to the NFL once and for all by protesting with their wallets. Below is a list of the NFL's 25 corporate sponsors. Spread this like wildfire. NFL Sponsors List 2017 Anheuser-Busch Barkley Card U.S. Goes Bridgestone Camel Soup Company Castrol Courtyard Marriott Dairy Management Incorporated, Fuel Up to Play 60, Down and Extreme Networks FedEx Frito-Lay Gatorade Hyundai Motor America Mars Snack Food Microsoft Nationwide News America Papa John's Pepsi Procter & Gamble Quaker Verizon Visa USAA It's time that the NFL starts paying attention to their vast fambus that's comprised of patriotic and red-blooded Americans. Unless the NFL merely wants empty stadiums for their racist athletes to protest in, 
they better put an end to these nasty anti-American protests. Very, very quickly. Push the share button and let's get this information out to the American people. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.